Hey, what's up, YouTube family? We back again with another video. Today, I'm going to be reacting to this women and this, uh, unfortunately, psychologist who uh, apparently her focus is relationships. Man, her, what she said is disappointing. But anyways, this lady is over here going to tell us the reason why most marriages are initiated by women and she couldn't be further from the truth, man. She's so off, it's not even funny. But let's get straight into the video. I stitched this guy, but I couldn't do it without music, so here we go. I was three years old when I found out that 70% of divorces are initiated by women. Moreover, 90% of divorces are initiated by women when they are college educated. Well, let's, <laughs> let's talk about that for a second. First of all, that statistic is crazy, man. That statistic is crazy. 70% of divorces are initiated by women. Think about that for a second, man. And why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Come on, we ain't stupid out here, man. Everybody knows that the only ones that benefit from a divorce is the woman. It is not a difficult thing to walk away when you know you're taking everything with you. You feel me? The only thing living behind is a broke man. <laughs> Emotionally, financially, man, that man gonna have PTSD for the rest of his life. And the second statistic is even crazy. More over 90% of divorces are initiated by women when they are college educated. You wanna know why? Because these women are too smart for their own good. That's an actual thing, people. You can be too smart for your own good. I took a course once, dude, in, um, in sociology, right? Where they were talking about uh, domestic violence, right? And in my mind, I always thought domestic violence is like, boom, you know, to the jaw or to the ribs. You know what I'm saying? I was thought domestic violence was a physical thing. Like you put putting hands on people, right? And I knew obviously, you know, the verbal kind of. But dude, when they started giving examples of what verbal abuse is, bro, it's like if you tell something, yo, you ugly. Yo, that's it, it's over, bro. Oh, domestic violence. Oh, you need therapy. You need a relationship expert. You need that. I'm marriage therapy. You need counseling. I was like, what the fuck? Like Fuck, like, what kind of marriages are, are these? I've never seen a marriage like that. I mean, <laughs> you know, relationships are rough, people. People fight, people argue, people scream. You're sharing a life together and all of the stresses and pressures that it puts on the both of you. You're both constantly going through shit. Like, how can people not argue, fight, or scream? Like, you're not even supposed to be screaming, according to these experts. That's domestic violence. That's domestic abuse. I'm like, yo, so these are not human beings then. Like, I want to see this relationship. I want to see the perfect relationship where nobody ever gets frustrated. Nobody ever screams. Nobody fucking ever fucking throws a B word in here or, or uh, F you or this and that. Like, man, this must not be human beings because my entire life, everywhere I went, every religion, every culture, bro, people get frustrated. And sometimes this is the way they release. Again, I'm not saying that it's right. I'm not saying that it should happen every single day. But it, I don't give a fuck who you are. At some point, it will happen. Doesn't mean you need fucking therapy. It just means you're a human being, man. Let's continue with the video. Why do you think that is? I have a theory. I don't know if I'm right. If there's, I could tell you right now, man. I don't need to hear the theory, bro. Just, uh, when, yo, when a woman does, you know, she trouble, bro. <laughs> I know you're wrong. There's an expert out there who has more knowledge. Let me know. But this is my theory. 70% of divorces are initiated by women because men, instead of getting a divorce when they're unhappy in a relationship and losing the person who's cooking, cleaning, being emotionally available for them and all that stuff, they rather just go out and cheat and find what they're not finding in their spot. She is extremely wrong. She didn't even mention the kids, man. She did admit that the man is unhappy equally, right? He's equally unhappy, right? He's not divorcing her. He's not trying to leave the house. She didn't even mention the kids. The kids wasn't even in her mind, which is the main reason why most fucking men stay. And the main reason why men do not get divorced, man. Men want their kids in their life. They want to come home to the kids every fucking day to the point where they're willing to deal with a miserable fucking marriage. She didn't even mention that. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, very few men have the actual option of cheating. Not a lot of guys are good looking, especially married guys. And not a lot of guys got game or swag or know how to pick up girls. So that's not really true. Another thing that we, they don't want to lose the woman because she clean, clean cooks. And what, what are you talking about? Man can't clean and cook. There's a whole bunch of men out there that are cooking and cleaning for themselves. So that's not a valid argument. Let's continue. Women, on the other hand, instead of going out and cheating and getting another responsibility by cheating with another man, they rather just get rid of the current responsibility they have, which is their husband, who's not helping them, is not being there for them emotionally, and it's just heavy weight on them. Did this just say that women, instead of cheating, when I guarantee you, you go to divorce, when you look at statistics, infidelity from the woman's side is almost always involved. No, you want to know why women get divorced? Because they got caught cheating. That's when they say, ah, fuck it. I got caught. It is what it is. I'm out. 
That's why they freaking leave. What are you talking about instead of cheating? Most women cheat before they leave. Most women don't leave their men until they got another one secured. Monkey branching, they call that shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't let go of this branch until they got the other one. They not stupid. Only men are. This woman are smart. What are you talking about? They're not cheating. Of course they're cheating. They're not happy. They've been miserable. You know how easy it is for a woman to sleep with another man? It's super easy. They got him putting minimal effort to get a man to sleep with them, man. All they got to do is give him a look and a smile. And that's it. That's all it takes. Men, on the other hand, they got to put crazy work, man. Most fat, most, most married men are fat, out of shape, bent over, man, broken. They <laughs> don't got no money. It's hard for them to go out there and cheat, girl. So, man, you tripping. I don't know if I'm right, but that's my theory as to why women initiate most of divorces. What do you think? I think that you're extremely wrong. You're not that very bright and you're going to die alone. Now, let's look at the real expert and what she got to say. Dr. Wendy Walsh here. I'm a psychology professor. And Hi, doctor. She's a psychology professor, man. And an author, and I've been writing about the science of love for a few decades. This influencer is absolutely correct in the two reasons that she provided. Bro, <laughs> I guarantee you she's single. I guarantee you that she is single. She's been studying the science of love and she has yet to get it right of why women are more likely to file for divorce than men. But there's one other reason that she doesn't know about, and it's that women now want more emotional investment from men. That is a fucking lie, man. A man that's constantly spewing out his emotions there, listening to his woman and doing everything that it is that she wants to do, bro. She loses respect for the guy and she still ends up cheating, man. Women don't want this. They think they want this. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Uh, women don't really know what they want. <laughs> They don't, bro. <laughs> in their relationships. And if they're not getting that emotion from men, they have their own paychecks now, so they leave. Again, they're thinking about their own personal feelings, but the man that's over there, miserable as fuck, just, just as miserable as she is, he ain't thinking about, oh, let me get out of here and go find happiness somewhere else. He's willing to ride it out and stay there for his children, man. And again, it goes back to the paycheck. It goes back to the paycheck. I don't know or understand why people think it's all about the money, man. If you follow all of these women after divorce, dude, they, it's, it's, it's a pattern after that. They never have another successful relationship. The women that think like this, they never have another successful relationship after that. The women who leave and have a divorce because the guy was just like extremely abusive, like they just couldn't take him. Like this guy was beating them up, constantly cheating. Uh, you probably had drug problems and stuff like that. The women that, those kind of women that leave those kind of situations and remarry, they tend to have a successful second marriage, right? But the women that think like this, that they feel like their, their mans need to somehow fulfill this void inside of them that can only be fulfilled if their emotional needs are met, which they never describe what that means. Those women, they never have a successful relationship. They just continue to marry and remarry, and they're just picking up a bag along the way. So this relationship expert don't know shit about what she spent her whole life and know nothing, and I guarantee you she's single. That look right there in her eyes screams, I'm single, and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyways, people, man, if you like this shit I'm talking, make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe, and I got more heat coming your way. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.